Greetings, my beautiful lovely. It's Emmy. How are you? It's great to see you and welcome back. Today we are going to be making clear milk. What in the world you say? What in the world you say? Yes, I said clear milk. And this is a real thing. This is actually based on a historical recipe. It was popular in the 1700s in the Great Britain, and it was called milk punch. Now, from my understanding, there are a couple types of milk punch. This is a clarified milk punch. There's also a milk punch that's made with milk. I think it's popular in the south of the United States. And the milk in that recipe lends a nice milky, creamy quality to the drink. While in this drink, the clarified milk punch, and it creates a crystal clear beverage that's alcoholic, but still has a very nice silky quality to it. So let's step back a little bit. So the clarifying process is very, very interesting and is the main reason why I want to make this drink, making milk clear, but more than that, I'm very curious about the science about how the drink gets clarified. And after reading about it, it is very similar to how you would clarify a soup, like a consomme in French cookery. If you missed my clear tomato soup recipe, I did a very similar technique. I'll put a link to that video down below. And in that technique, you use an egg white to use the proteins in the egg to grab and coagulate and grab onto all the impurities in the tomato soup yielding a clear broth, which you then filter and separate from the raft of protein that's created. Aren't those great words? Raft, coagulate, proteins, casein, whey, all those are really great words. And we are going to be talking about those in this recipe. Now there are many recipes, but the technique is generally the same. We're gonna be using alcohol and some kind of acid to coagulate or to create those proteins to kind of bind together. We're talking specifically the casein proteins, the whey proteins, or the proteins that are in the liquid of the milk will remain, but those are clear. But the casein proteins will bind together just like they do in cheese making and grab all those impurities and create a raft and then we'll separate our drink. I chose the simplest recipe that I could find and it is based on the oldest recipe of clarified milk punch that we can find from the 1700s and it's Mary Rocket's Citrus Milk Punch. It was originally published in Dan Woodrich's book Punch and it's been adapted by Dan Sousa over at America's Test Kitchen, and I found this on the Splendid Table. But I will put links down below to everything that I'm referencing in case you're curious. So the first thing we need to do is to flavor our brandy. So in this jar, which doesn't need to be this large, I've taken some brandy, and it has the zest of one lemon and one orange, and it's been soaking in the brandy, and infusing it with that citrusy flavor. So it says 18 hours up to two days. So this should smell really nice. Let's see if I can get this jar open. Ooh, indeed. We've got the perfume of alcohol tinged with a lovely fragrance of orange and lemon. Oh, it smells so good. Ah. Oh, Okay, we're gonna strain our brandy and get the peels removed. They've done their job. And you can see a little slick of oil on top. That's so cool. So I saved the orange and the lemon that I removed the zest from, and now we're going to juice them because we need those lovely juices. Orange, naked lemon. <laughs> so, I'm gonna use a little strainer if I can find it. Here it is. And I'm going to squeeze my lemon juice into this. Oops, did I tear this? All right, squeeze in my big lemon. <laughs> now, rather than saying the juice of one lemon, you should use the measurements, which is either, what is it? It's a quarter cup. It's a quarter cup of lemon juice. And I'm gonna do the same. Actually, it's more lemon juice to lime juice. So it's a quarter cup plus one tablespoon of lemon juice and a quarter cup of orange juice. Emeril Lagasse taught me how to do this a long time ago. You take a fork and you stick it in there to kind of act as your reamer to get the most juice out of your lemon. You get all that into there. 
think I'm gonna need more juice of the lemon. All right, measure our juice. Okay, do the same thing with our orange. Strain the juice. Orange. Africa. Almost. I'm gonna go grab another lemon because I need a little bit more lemon. Okay, so we've got our lemon and orange juice freshly squeezed. Okay, to the brandy, we're adding one cup of sugar. Plus a little extra. Boop. And whisk that together. We wanna to dissolve the sugar. Along with the orange juice and lemon juice we squeezed. And some water. This will help dissolve the sugar. Ooh, it smells good. Very boozy, but the lemon and the orange, very nice. Okay, this is definitely dissolved. So one thing I noticed in all the recipes for clarified milk punch, it specifically said to add the brandy mixture to the milk and not the other way around. Okay, let's pour this into the pitcher. Ooh, you're getting close there, girl. Whoa, up to the very tippy, tippy, tip, tip top. <sighs> nice. So we need some milk. We need one cup of milk, specifically whole milk. And those of you that don't live in the United States, whole milk means full fat milk, not any fat removed, just good old milk. Okay, milk to the bowl first. So we have one cup of whole milk in this glass bowl here. Now we're gonna take our brandy juice mixer and add it to the milk, slowly. Here we go. Whoop. Okay, it's sputtering and splashing. Oh, and it's thickening. Oh my gosh, it's totally thickening. Look at this. Oh, it's so cool. Can you see it? It's doing its curdle thing. See, it's kind of thick. Yo, okay. Cool. There's a lot of liquid. Why do I keep banging the side of the bowl? Why? Okay, here we go. The last of it, and we definitely have curdles. Now it says to gently stir it, although I think it's pretty well mixed already. So we rest this for at least 30 minutes, or we can cover this and let it chill in the refrigerator for 24 hours before we decant and separate the chunks from the sauce. Not the sauce, but you know, the water. Look. Curdles. Isn't that amazing? Wow. Okay, lovelies, I'm gonna cover this, let this rest, and we'll come back and separate all this and then give this a taste on ice. You know, like 17th, 18th century, I mean, Great Britain. Alrighty, see you a little bit. All right, so this has been sitting for a couple hours now and you can see those beautiful curds. So now we are going to filter it. So got a bowl here and it said to filter it through a coffee filter. When I did the clear tomato soup, the consomme, I used these and I found these at the Korean grocery store and here they are. And these are filters, kind of like paper towels. And these are all the different ways you can use them. You can use them to steam foods, but right here, here and here, you can see they're also used to filter out your broths. This is what it looks like. It looks like a fabric, but if you look closely, it's knitted kind of material, a bit stretchy. And what I like about this particular material for my setup is that it's going to fit inside of my strainer. <laughs> I have these coffee filters. These are for a pour over coffee situation. So you open it like this and you put it inside a cone holder. And doing this for this would not be ideal because 
this cone cannot hold the volume of liquid I need it to. So instead I'm going to use this filter cloth on top of my strainer. Okay, so I'm going to ladle this mixture into my filter and let it slowly clarify. Let's see what we got. <sighs> it's totally clear. Oh my gosh, look at that. Yeah, baby. Oh, I love it when a plan comes together. Okay, let me show you this up close. Clarified milk punch coming at ya. Clear, clear, clear milk. Yeah, baby, clear milk. It's working. Look, that's what's at, up top. Chunks, the curds, and down below. Beautiful, clear perfection. Oh, this feels great. This is awesome. Yo. So I'm gonna pass this through twice. And then I'm going to get some ice and serve this up and give it a taste. Alrighty, my lovelies, I am back. This is my double filtered milk punch and it is incredibly clear. I am so, so happy. So what I've got going here are two separate filtration steps to take this murky, curdly, chunky concoction and create this beautiful clear punch. Just gonna scoop some ice into a glass. So, got a glass of ice, and now we're going to put the clear, look at that, look how clear it is. It has an orange, it has a yellow tinge to it, and I think that probably comes from the combination of brandy and the citrus juice that we added. Look at that. That's milk. Look how clear. So beautiful. Alrighty, my first taste of clear milk or milk punch. Clarified milk punch. Alrighty, here we go. Cheers. And happy new year to all my beautiful lovelies. I hope this coming year brings you all that you hoped and wished for and that 22 with its trials and tribulations and good things taught you something about yourself as well. Alrighty, my lovelies. Cheers. Wow, that's very nice. It's sweet and it's very floral. I didn't expect it to be as floral scented as it is. It has a citrus flavor to it that is present, but it's not, it's not sour at all. It's actually quite sweet because of the amount of sugar we put in there. So this is kind of reminiscent of a dessert wine or a dessert cordial, but it has a really great viscosity and mouthfeel that's not syrupy, but present and full-bodied. And yes, silky, smooth, delicious. I love it. Does it taste of milk? No, I don't think it tastes milky or dairied in my opinion, maybe simply because it is clear. I don't have those associations, but it doesn't feel creamy, but it does have a very nice smooth mouthfeel to it. It's lovely and served on ice. It is so nice. I love it. And I'm not a cordial drinker at all or much of a drinker, but this would be lovely. This would be actually really lovely for a New Year's party or any little kind of festivist for that matter. Beautiful and very easy to make. All right, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that one. I hope you learned something. Please share this video with your friends. Follow me on social media. I love so much from hearing from you. And check out my website. Have a happy and safe new year. And I shall see you in my next video. Toodaloo. Take care. Bye. This should be bottled up and given as gifts. I should have done this as a holiday gift. There's always next year.